Okay, so this is what's happening. Let me show you my fridge and why all of this is out here. Okay, I don't know. We've got to get a light to fix the fridge. But you can see back here, it is like very frosted over. What I want to do today is actually talk about defrosting the fridge. Some people live full time in their RVs and this is going to be an issue that you may come across now and then. If you're a weekend warrior, it may not necessarily pertain to you. However, some I know keep their fridges all the time going even when they're not using them. But this is what happened in here. You can see back here, it is like very frosted over. So, I mean, very frosted over. It's like really closed in up here and, and back here and stuff. So what I did is I took everything out of the fridge that's basically a non-perishable. Um, so does some things um, that don't necessarily have to be in the fridge uh, full time. Because what I want to do is allow the fridge to defrost on its own. So I turned it off up here and we're also going to be doing the freezer but what I did is I turned off the refrigerator took everything out so that it gave it a little more room not a lot in there but what it's going to do is it's going to keep the refrigerator cold for the things that are perishables like the milk eggs um, butters creams other things that you might have in your fridge that need to stay in there so I'm going to leave it for about two hours and then we're going to come back and see what we can do. Okay. Okay, so the fridge has been defrosting on its own for about three hours, I want to say, because we went shopping in the meantime. Um, and what I want to do is I'm going to take out what's left in the fridge right now. As you can see, it's still pretty well um, frosted up in there. Okay, I, I'm going to take a brief intermission here for a second. We're in the fridge. And guess who's interested because we keep, we're standing and we're in the fridge. Yeah. He wants to know what is in there for him. Not a thing. So okay. let's go. Not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm taking out um, the things that were the perishables, the sour cream and some of the other things that I thought might need to stay in the fridge. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a cookie sheet. And I'm going to put it underneath here and hopefully if all goes well, I can start chipping away. And no, that's really solid. <laughs> so, yeah. So what I'm going to do is this is really, really solid. This is where the blow dryer might come in handy. I don't always want to use a blow dryer because like I said, again, it's going to heat up the refrigerator but we need to get this ice off of here. So stand by for the blow dryer. Man, that's like solid, solid. You can kind of reach under and just pull. I'm just kind of pulling away when yeah. my fingers is working. This is where not having manicured nails might come in handy. Fine, you do it. You use the blow dryer while you do that. Oh. So we're going to continue this until uh, we are able to break it apart, we are going to jump ahead to once we finally get enough of the ice broken away. Here we go. Say hi. <laughs> it's going crooked. 
So there. It's working there. Yeah, this is like pretty full. Yeah. I should pull that out. Whoops. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Got ice on the floor. Yeah. Oh, I think I have this one little area right here. That's being stubborn. Hold on. Blow dryer. Determined to get this last little bit off here. That done. Now what you need to do, if you feel like it, <laughs> is clean the refrigerator. Also need to do <laughs> the freezer, and that's where the blow dryer definitely comes in handy. You don't have to worry about as much water dripping and things like that. If you did have water dripping, you know, just you can wipe it down and, and all that. So anyway, that's done. The one thing that I did want to mention was our temperature. Now our fridge has been running about 35, 34 right in there. However, because this was so iced up, we don't know if that was a true temperature of the refrigerator. So that's something to keep in mind too. All right, so next stop, the freezer. We're good to go. Appreciate All nice and clean. Your pops. Yes, Steve likes his ice pops. All my fruits and vegetables. Oh, the oh. ten-year-old me is a little offended by you making fun of that. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Steve came up with this great idea. We done. We done. Wow, I are Englished. We don't have an ice maker, and we really didn't have cubes. So what Steve did is we found this little thing here. We get the bags of ice, and we have our own little ice bucket. Sometimes it'll stick, so what I'll do is I'll give it a good shake, or he has an ice pick we can break it up with. But when we need ice, there it is. So, works out really well. And what's even better is where we are in Arizona, they have one of those huge restaurant in ice makers over there. And so we can just go and fill up our bucket of ice whenever we need it. And it doesn't cost us anything. So that's really cool. What we're going to do is this is where, now you know what? It's really not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Looks like it's breaking it's, up. It's um, it's okay. It looks like it's already starting to break up itself. So, what you might want to do is put. I am going to hit it with. Uh, well, you don't really need that. Well, well for the it, ice it'll chips. Help, yeah. yeah, it'll help with the ice chips, but. Right. So it's just soaking up the rest. So we are soaking up the rest and wiping out the. And I'm stepping on ice. Oh. Aka did not get anything. Nope, much to his dismay, he did not. So I have a great big towel that I use for whatever I need it for. And that's what's gonna soak up what's left in this water. So all the towel. Yeah, there's two things I would like to mention. Okay, the first thing is um, on the refrigerator. One thing that's really, really important that we learned was to make sure that you keep a space between whatever your product is and the wall. So you make sure that you have all of that circulation. The air can circulate freely in there. So you don't want to, you know, load the fridge so much that it's wall to wall, front to back, okay, with no circulation going in it. And the last thing is, is once, uh, I haven't seen any difference or any news really, so if you know anything about a freezer, if it has to do the same thing, let me know. But I haven't noticed anything other than it, you know, frosting up like it did. 
And here's the last thing you want to make sure you do. Turn your fridge back and freezer back on. So you want to make sure that you do that. So right now we're at, what is that? 57, 57. degrees. Okay, so hopefully it's going to cool down really quickly and everything will be good. And I promise you, I am not going to let it get to this point ever again. Because without the wonderful help of my husband here, Steve, uh, I don't know if I could have done this in as quick a time. So anyway, don't let it happen to you guys. See you on the road. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscription button. And when you want to know when we post again, make sure you hit that bell and it'll let you know Sundays at 2. 2 and thumbs up. Thumbs All right, up. thumbs up. All right, let so us know what you for... think. If you have any clue, any hints or anything about uh, the refrigerators also, let me know, okay, because hey. that would be great. It wouldn't hurt? No, couldn't hurt. <laughs> so anyway, hang in there, safe travels, and... That's my line. <laughs> I'm sorry. Safe, you... safe travels, we'll see you on the road. Salancha. Here we go. What? <laughs> <laughs>